Supportive Pillar Foundation is a non-profit organization based in Nigeria with a mission to fight hunger and empower underprivileged individuals through life-changing programs. Our core values are built from the acronym LEADERS. L. Love. E. Empathy. A. Accountability. D. Diligence. E. Excellence, R, Respect, and S, Service. Founded in 2020 with the aim of alleviating poverty in rural communities through feeding and business empowerment programs. SPF started during the COVID year 2020 uh, with a plan and purpose to help the less privileged out there due to the suffering of um, people around us. So we started uh, with a team of 10 of us to reach out to the communities around us. We have two core assignments that we do. The first one is the feeding and the second one is business empowerment. For the feeding, we have the widow support program. We have about 100 widows on our widows list and then we have the school support program. We have some students are on free scholarship at the moment. And then for the business empowerment, Every year we hold our skill acquisition program. This year we're going to train about 200 people. The foundation works around the following cardinal projects. Widows Support Scheme. Supportive Pillar Foundation currently have about 100 registered widows on her beneficiary list that are fed on a quarterly basis. Skill Acquisition Project. We have trained over 500 unemployed young people and empowered some of them. My name is Afashikyo Mutsara Yokoyemi. I'm a person living with visual impairment. Before I became a beneficiary of Supportive Pillar Foundation training, I didn't have an idea of what home essential production was like. The training I got from Supportive Pillar Foundation has really helped me. It has really helped me a lot in my, building my confidence and building my self-esteem. I became a student of SPF last year. Although before I joined the foundation, I've heard about the organization, but I couldn't participate in that program. So last year when I stumbled on the preparation for the program again, I quickly applied. School Support Project. We have supported over 500 deprived children with school bags, exercise books, stationeries and other items. Some of these children are on our scholarship list. Monthly Outreach. The Supportive Pillar Foundation reaches out to indigenous, physically challenged, elders, orphans, widows and inmates monthly to offer required support. December Communities Outreach. We organize aggressive feeding programs across different communities every December as a way of showing love and kindness to hundreds of less privileged families during the festive season and supporting their petty trades financially. Truly, if you agree with me, man must chop because an angry man is an angry man and we don't want angry men and women on the streets. So the idea of man must chop is a local language used in Nigeria here where we say man must chop. And um, truly we need people to be fed because aside from the idea of empowering people, people that are hungry cannot reason well. Through Supportive Pillar Foundation, they made me see what I was thinking it was difficult as something very easier for me. Most especially, some of the things I learned is this antiseptic disinfectant. In fact, it has been the proud thing in my mind. I met a friend that I said he should teach me this thing, and the way he was telling me, he was saying it as if it's something so difficult that I cannot even know. But through Supportive Pillar Foundation, they made it easy for me, in fact, easiest for me to learn. And now I am so happy that 
what somebody told me it was difficult supportive pillar foundation made me know that it is not difficult in fact it is easy for me i was a hair stylist making hair and before i joined i used to think makeup was just something you just do that is very easy just do it and very easy i yeah. just rub your powder and your finish and you're ready to go but when i joined i noticed that there's a whole lot more in makeup that my teacher helped me to know and i'm really really grateful for that and Ever since then, I know that I have I've improved so much in my makeup skills. Before I met with the, this foundation, I was actually into something else. But when I got to become a student of this uh, great foundation, things changed. Uh, on the, in the event, uh, planning decoration world things turn around for me so in fact I've, I've been enjoying what I'm doing the great impact I got at SPF in 2023 the supportive pillar foundation initiated several poverty alleviation projects the team visited seven separate communities which comprise Abule, Osho and Matugung in Ogun State Nigeria Likewise, Ilaje Slum Access in Bariga and Ifako Ijaye in Lagos State, respectively. It takes time to build credibility and it, the Lord has been helping us over, over the years. There are so many challenges. For instance, in December, we went to seven communities, December 2023. One of the communities, they were breaking bottles there. And we had to still stay there to reach out to these communities. We've been to places where you would see burial grounds, some you would see shrines. You know, we just have to be ready for this assignment prayerfully. Challenges um, hasn't been much with the help of God. Although trying to raise funds has been the major challenge because we are trying to tell people that this is what we want to do, impacting lives, impacting um, people that are there that are suffering and they are just like another organization, another NGO trying to make money. But uh, we just kept doing with the little we could in our little capacity and uh, people seeing what we've been doing they've been able to support us because now saying that we are really real and uh, really ready to help people out there. Aside several empowerment programs, a special surprise visit to developing communities was well organized to encourage the people to pray with them and to share packages of kindness as a show of love. The supportive Pillar Foundation goes beyond the norm as we find and fund constantly combing every community inside and outside of Lagos in search of the needy and ensuring they are properly taken care of in the most suitable way. We build networks. SPF bridges the gap between the less privileged and those always willing to help with the use of skills and humanitarian resources available. We strengthen. Strengthening the less privileged in every resourceful way is our utmost concern. SPF ensures this is done without discrimination and prejudice. We would gather all the students we've trained in the last four years in a room, get judges to screen them, and for those that will perform exceedingly well in this exercise, you know, we're going to empower them afresh. And then we have School of the Blind that we're visiting in July, the skill acquisition project. In fact, we've been doing Lagos and community for the first time this year, we are going to Ibadan. After Ibadan project, you know, other states within the country should also be watching out for us. We want to take it, you know, beyond Lagos and Ogun to other states within the country. We educate. Knowing that education is the best legacy to be handed to fellow mankind, we impact lives by rendering assistance geared towards attaining quality education. We provide care. The Supportive Pillar Foundation provides adequate care to the widows, orphans and other less privileged in every Nigerian community for as long as possible. We consult. We consult with every important sector that can help us achieve our goals, mission and vision statement, which is focusing on impacting lives. 
The Supportive Pillar Foundation is open to partners and sponsors, corporate and individuals who are willing to maximize our projects and programs to reach out to the less privileged in the rural areas in order to express their corporate social responsibilities are most welcomed. What are the initiatives we've been trying to put in place to ensure that partners are supporting us? One of them is the Feed a Widow program. We have some people that would say, oh, the little I can do is to feed a widow. And then they will say to us, you know, enlist a widow on my role. We have sent a child to school program. So if you are thinking, oh, I may not be able to do as much as you guys are doing, I just want to send a child to school. We have that program. There are some people that will say, my birthday this year, I want to use it to reach out. We can join you to do the reaching out. You can send us, you can ask us to come to your community. We will partner with you to do this project. You could also say, I want to empower just one person. Contact us today on plus 234-808-241-7550. That's plus 234-808-241-7550. You can email us on info at supportivepillarfoundation.com. My prayer for the corporate organizations that have been helping us in the past year is that God will bless you. He will continue to enlarge your coast. And uh, we pray that you'll be able to continue to help us in helping the less privileged. You can also send your token of love to support our cause. The account number is 7113-456-2000. The bank name is FCMB. We are appealing to corporate sponsors. We are appealing to individuals. We are appealing to even international community to support us in this assignment. There are so many widows on our list who are over 80, 70 years of age. There are so many children on our scholarship list that can't even help themselves. Some of them would even have to be buying school uniforms after getting free school for them. We can't do this alone. A lot of people complain about Nigeria and how government is not doing enough. As individuals, let's partner together to make Nigeria work again. Mm -hmm.